Update, my 34M wife, 33F, cheated and is now pregnant. So the DNA reports came back. And the baby is mine. I wasn't even surprised at this point. The day we sat down and talked. She told me she had returned home to immediately take her birth control pill. So she was certain the baby would be mine and she once again said if by any chance it was the other. Guys she would abort the baby. That she had no plans or desire to have kids with anyone except me. I won't lie. Her words were a good comfort to me. I could tell she was telling the truth. I've been reading too many Reddit stories of men finding out their wives were all too willing to have some random man's child. I cannot lie. Even the idea of that made me sick. I asked her if she'd keep this baby even if I filed for divorce. She said yes. So, that's where we're at in terms of the baby. As for the other guy, not disclosing too many details. It was a relative of hers. An older cousin who had been harassing her for a long time. Literally since before we even met. She just never said anything to me or complained because her family. And frankly mine too. Are obsessed with the entire, family comes before all, mindset. I'm seeing this pressure to keep everything together happen to me in real time after all. Anyway. Long story short. He had returned to our hometown around three months ago and started texting. Followed and harassing her. Hence why all the blocked numbers and repeated texts of being happy with me and loving only me. She admitted to sending him a videotape of us being intimate as a way to make him ashamed of her. And leave her alone. That she had repeatedly spoken about me and mocked him when he insisted he could do better. She thinks all this goading and insulting had triggered him to attack her and she never said anything to me because she is certain it was her fault for engaging with him. That if she had ignored him like before, he'd have just left her alone. I've seen enough texts, confronted enough people and heard enough to confirm she isn't lying. Now I'm just focused on getting this woman the therapy it turns out she has needed for a long time. I have decided on legal separation for now but haven't met with the lawyer yet. Our kids will have both of us of course and I'm happy to know at least my irrational hate for the baby is gone. It's the only positive thing I'm feeling right now. I'm beginning to think clearer now. Reddit has helped me feel confident in protecting myself. I don't feel quite so selfish now. I will support Anna because she desperately needs it. Our relationship needs work but that comes second to her health. Our baby and our sons. I'm going to work on us but I'm also taking steps to protect myself and the boys. I have Reddit to thank for giving me the confidence to do this and not feel guilty. Much thanks for that. Edit. I am not divorcing her. It's a temporary separation because she needs to heal first before we can be a couple again. Her response to being harassed by that man was putting herself on me. She admitted our first time, over 10 years ago, was in part influenced by his obsession with her virginity. Meaning our first time happened before she was actually ready for something like that. Her response to his texts was sending intimate videos of us. Her response to me trying to get some space was trying to seduce me back into bed with her. I'm not a therapist but that attitude is not healthy. That much even I can tell. Right now her idea of therapy is to pretend like nothing happened and try to get intimate with me. At any opportunity. And she takes me saying no as rejecting her for being used. I'm not helping her with this separation I know. But I can tell I'm not helping her cope by being too close either. A little separation is best as suggested by the therapist and lawyer. Yes. I know she didn't cheat. It's that the title has to be same for an update. I'm not calling her assault cheating. You're not obligated to answer these questions. I'm just trying to gain a better understanding. Cousin sawed her. This has been confirmed by sources within the family? Has the cousin attempted grooming her in years past? The tape of the two of you was sent to the cousin under duress. Willingly. 
And to what end? I'm confused on this piece especially. I'm not implying your wife is lying. There's just a lot said that is missing context. Either way, your wife needs therapy, your right to support that, her health, your sons, and this baby. Therapy might be a good choice for you too. Sometimes just having an outside and objective person to ideate with is tremendously beneficial. This is a complex situation. I hope wisdom, peace, and resolution rise to meet you with every step of this journey. She sent him a sexual video of you too? This is just so fake. Come on. Cheating wife then turns out it's actually nothing like that and a baby involved. People can do better with these works of fiction. But if she was SAED, what was the reason for the separation? Is it because she hid it? And even if you believe in her, will you remain separated? So do you blame her or don't you really believe her? I found it very incoherent on your part. What you saying that your wife was raped? She didn't consent? If this is it the only thing she did wrong is sent a intimate video of you to him without your consent. This is so fake. This all sounds seuss. This screams BS to me, surely. Love these fake clickbait stories. Edit. I am not divorcing her. It's a temporary separation because she needs to heal first before we can be a couple again. Yeah it doesn't need to be a legal separation if your aim is just to give someone space. Are you just backtracking from reddit backlash l mao? Also I hope what you meant was that your wife took plan B. Because taking birth control the following day doesn't work that way. I don't know if this story is real or not. If it is it's super tragic that. 1. It happened in. 2. Your response isn't to help her but to seemingly abandon her. A lot of this story doesn't really add up to me. Are we just casually ignoring the fact that she leaked your sex vids to other people? Let alone to the person that was harassing her? That alone is pretty hugely problematic. She thinks all this goading and insulting had triggered him to attack her and she never said anything to me because she is certain it was her fault for engaging with him. So, your wife didn't cheat? She was raped by a relative? Why are you calling her being violated against her will, cheating? I think you op are looking for her to be logical in a nonsensical situation. If what your wife he saying is true, this man has been grooming her since she was a child. She didn't respond like an adult she responded as a child. She didn't tell you everything because she didn't feel safe. Which doesn't mean that you didn't make her feel. None of what happened to her is about you and her relationship to you. I think you need to go to therapy also in couples therapy. Your wife was SAED. Groomed an SAED by a family member. This is not her fault. This can't be real exploding head. Sorry maybe I'm misunderstood. And if so I apologize for that. But are you saying that your wife's cheating was actually her being raped by her cousin? Dot and you're legally separating from her over it? I'm glad to see you're supporting her and getting her the help she needs. But I just don't understand the separation? Reading your edit on the other post and this one. Your wife was raped, even if she's in denial about it. Why on earth are you divorcing her? Is the separation so she can work on her own recovery? Or is it with an end goal of divorce? I'm really not sure why separating from her would in any way be helpful for her recovery from being sexually assaulted. In fact I would find it an impediment. As her irrational. Shame for being assaulted is validated by her husband who doesn't want to be around her. Rather than trying help her rid herself of that shame by standing with her. Was this recommended by a counselor? ETA. After reading your edits this makes a lot more sense. 
Hang on if this is assault, why aren't police involved? How about follow through and saw charges against her cousin to clear the air? If she was indeed raped, are you going to the police? Also stop reading the comments they are gonna drive you crazy. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.